Elon Musk has once again sparked excitement around the world by teasing a new mission involving Optimus, the humanoid robot developed by Tesla. But this time, Optimus is not just your average factory assistant or a simple task-performing machine. Recent announcements reveal a series of major upgrades that show Optimus has advanced far beyond what the public previously knew. Leaked details indicate that Optimus will soon be fully autonomous in extreme environments, equipped with cutting-edge AI that allows it to adapt to situations it wasn't specifically programmed for. It also has a self-repair mechanism that allows it to keep going without human intervention. Meanwhile, next-gen energy tech ensures it can perform at a high level for extended periods. The most exciting upgrades include an advanced sensor system and navigation algorithms, enabling Optimus to move with remarkable agility and handle complex tasks that were once unimaginable. So why are these upgrades happening now, and just how big is the mission Optimus is preparing for? As the details slowly emerge, it's clear that this mission could have huge implications for humanity's future. In a post on X, Musk revealed that Starship will depart from Mars at the end of next year, carrying Optimus. If the mission goes as planned, human landings on Mars could begin as early as 2029, though 2031 is more likely. We're not here to debate Musk's timeline, after all, Starship's success is still uncertain, but when it comes to Optimus and its potential impact on both Earth and Mars, one thing is clear, the future is already taking shape. At this point, calling Tesla just an electric vehicle company would be an understatement. While they started with EVs, Tesla is now evolving into a tech company focused on artificial intelligence and energy. If their EVs are helping make the planet cleaner, the AI inside Tesla's products is helping humanity advance faster, safer, and more effortlessly. But here's the key point. AI can only go so far unless it's integrated into the human world. Take ChatGPT, for example. It's an AI powerhouse with vast knowledge, but it can't do much beyond generating text or images. I can tell you the recipe for a dish, but it can't cook it for you. That's exactly why Tesla developed Optimus. Its mission is not just a milestone for the company, but a game changer for humanity as a whole. Imagine a world where humans and robots work together, side by side, achieving things we never thought possible. Picture humanoid robots everywhere, on the streets, in stores, hospitals, factories, and wherever labor is needed. For a moment, forget whether Elon Musk will actually manage to send Optimus to Mars. Back in late 2022, when he first announced the project, many people were doubtful. A humanoid robot? What could it really do? Was it just another ambitious dream? But as months turned into years, we've seen Optimus evolve, not just as a machine, but as a symbol of innovation and a giant leap in technology. Tesla isn't just building a robot, they're creating a companion for humanity. With advanced AI, Optimus isn't just about walking, lifting heavy objects, or following simple commands. It learns, adapts, and integrates into its environment. It could work in factories, help with household chores, and even provide support in hospitals or nursing homes. Now imagine this. One day, every home could have an Optimus robot, just like how smartphones went from luxury items to everyday essentials. Could this happen sooner than we think? What makes Optimus truly special is its brain. Unlike other robots that are only programmed to do basic tasks, Optimus is built on Tesla's self-driving software platform. It doesn't just see the world through cameras. It processes information like an artificial neural network, similar to how humans perceive and respond to their surroundings. In just two years, Tesla has surpassed long-established companies in the robotics industry, moving at an incredible pace. If a Tesla car is essentially a four-wheeled AI-powered robot, then Optimus is the very embodiment of AI in human form. Before we dive deeper into Optimus, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and like and share this video. It helps us stay motivated to create more analysis videos and keep you updated on all the latest about Optimus. Thank you. In our view, the real value of Optimus isn't just its cutting-edge technology, it's in its mission. Imagine a world where humans are freed from boring, dangerous, and repetitive jobs. Imagine factory workers no longer having to do backbreaking labor, 
or the elderly never feeling lonely because Optimus is there to care for them and keep them company. This isn't a sci-fi fantasy. It's the future Tesla is actively working to build. And we believe it's only a matter of time before we see it unfold. By 2026, when Optimus enters mass production and hits the market, the world will witness a major revolution. The barriers of cost, technology, and public perception will start to crumble. And the question won't be if Optimus will succeed, but when we'll have one of these robots in our own homes. A billion humanoid robots on Earth might sound like a far-off idea, but remember, not too long ago, people thought mobile phones and self-driving cars were impossible too. As technology advances and costs fall, Optimus could soon become a regular part of our daily lives. Elon Musk isn't the only one thinking big. The CEO of Mercedes-Benz has painted an ambitious vision for the near future, where humans might no longer be needed in car manufacturing plants across Europe. According to him, not just Mercedes-Benz, but all German automakers may fully automate their production lines to compete with China. Mercedes-Benz has already taken its first step into this new era with its humanoid robot pilot project. They claim that within the next five years, these robots won't just work alongside humans, they might fully replace factory workers. Meanwhile, in China, companies like BYD, NIO, Huawei, and Toyota are quickly integrating robots into production. But Musk has a bold plan of his own. He's aiming to produce 50,000 to 100,000 humanoid robots in 2026. And he believes that production could grow even faster with output potentially increasing tenfold each year. In fact, earlier this year, Musk made an astonishing prediction. Tesla plans to mass produce between 500,000 and 1 million robots by 2027. This year alone, at least 5,000 to 10,000 Tesla bots are expected to roll out from Tesla's Fremont factory, and that number could reach 50,000 to 100,000 by 2026, marking Tesla's official entry into the humanoid robot market. What's even more impressive is Musk's belief that Tesla can scale Optimus production exponentially, potentially increasing output tenfold every year. If this kind of claim had come from any other company, it might have been dismissed as unrealistic or overhyped. But with Tesla's track record, this could very well be a future that's closer than we think. As Musk explained, everything Tesla has developed for its cars, the batteries, power electronics, advanced motors, gearboxes, software, and AI applies directly to the creation of Optimus. Despite having limited experience in robotics, Elon Musk has boldly claimed that Tesla can mass produce Optimus for just $10,000, a surprisingly low price in the world of humanoid robots. Tesla's secret? They're transferring technology from their electric vehicles, EVS, to robots. Instead of building everything from the ground up, Tesla is using what they do best, batteries, motors, sensors, actuators, cameras, and many other key components, all designed and made in the US. These parts were originally optimized for cost efficiency in the EV industry, and now they're giving Tesla a major advantage in developing Optimus. Additionally, Tesla isn't relying on external supply chains like many other robotics companies. The production and assembly line for Optimus at the Fremont factory is already up and running smoothly, helping to cut costs and speed up manufacturing. While many expected Optimus to be built at Giga Texas, it turns out that facility is still being prioritized for bigger projects like the Cybertruck, Cybercab, and Tesla's next-gen EVs. If Tesla can bring Optimus to market at a final price of $20,000, it would almost guarantee that Optimus becomes the world's first truly affordable and widely adopted humanoid robot. Rather than just another expensive prototype, like those that came before it. This is something that almost no competitor has managed to accomplish. Here's a surprising fact. In an interview, even the CEO of Boston Dynamics, a pioneering robotics company, admitted that Tesla might accomplish in just a few years what they've been striving for over three decades. He said, the Tesla team is making great progress in building a couple of machines from scratch in just one year. That's remarkable. They're shining a spotlight on the importance of this technology, which we've been arguing for 30 years. So I think that only helps us. This raises a big question. If Tesla truly delivers on this promise, how will the world change? Are we getting closer to an era where robots aren't just tools, but an essential part of the global workforce? 
According to Musk, around 10,000 Optimus robots will be produced this year, but only for internal use. What does this mean? We believe Tesla isn't rushing to push Optimus onto the market just yet. Instead, they're using these robots inside their own factories to train them and refine their capabilities before releasing them more widely. This approach allows Optimus to gather real-world data and adapt to a variety of tasks. If testing goes well, Optimus won't just handle simple jobs like cleaning, transporting parts, or organizing battery packs. It could take on critical roles in EV production lines. Last year, when reports surfaced that Optimus was still being remotely controlled, many wondered if it would truly be autonomous when it launched. After all, if a humanoid robot still needs a human to control its every move, how useful can it really be? Now imagine buying an Optimus robot only to find out that instead of instantly helping with tasks, you have to manually program every action, something that could take weeks or even months. That would be pretty frustrating, right? A robot only holds real value if it can learn and adapt on its own, not if it requires constant remote control. But this is where many people misunderstand the situation. Tesla isn't controlling Optimus remotely because it's not ready. They're doing it because it's the quickest way to accelerate AI learning. Think about how humans learn. We observe, mimic, and gradually understand processes. Optimus works the same way. It doesn't need to be manually programmed for every task. Instead, by simply observing enough examples, it can infer patterns and perform tasks it wasn't explicitly taught. For example, Optimus can watch a video of a person doing something and then learn how to do the task just by watching. This sets the stage for a bold new reality. Tesla could become the first company to deploy humanoid robots at an industrial scale. If Optimus proves its value in Tesla's factories, there's no reason it couldn't expand into countless other industries. And we believe major corporations will be eager to place orders. Any company that overlooks Optimus in their production line might soon find themselves lagging behind their competitors. Now let's return to Elon Musk's latest announcement about Optimus. While there's much debate over whether his Mars mission timeline is too optimistic, the idea of armies of Optimus robots working on the Red Planet in the coming years is something we can't ignore. Sure, right now it might sound like sci-fi, but if Musk pulls it off, he'll force the world to see things in a whole new light. Once Tesla successfully sends Optimus to Mars, its significance will be undeniable. These robots could very well become the first true settlers, surviving longer than humans and handling critical tasks on the Red Planet. Optimus could play a key role in tasks like collecting planetary data and setting up basic infrastructure on Mars. Unlike traditional rovers that rely on GPS, which doesn't work on Mars, Optimus can navigate using 2D cameras enabling it to operate in unfamiliar and extreme environments without the need for satellite positioning. Recent tests have already shown that Optimus can climb stairs and navigate uneven terrain. While its speed is still limited, its ability to react to different surfaces is a strong indication that it could handle rough landscapes, steep slopes, and possibly even some Martian caves. Who knows, maybe Optimus will even help us uncover clues about extraterrestrial life. Just kidding. What truly sets Optimus apart, though, is its ability to think and learn. It's not just a robotic explorer. It can analyze minerals, search for essential resources like frozen water, and adapt to unpredictable challenges. Imagine a future where Optimus scouts mineral deposits, maps out the terrain in detail, or even autonomously transports equipment to distant outposts, all without any human intervention from Earth. Equipped with an integrated AI accelerator, it wouldn't just complete tasks efficiently, but would also learn and adapt, something any Mars robot needs to operate long-term. One question we're really curious about is how Optimus will charge its battery on Mars. On Earth, robots can simply plug into the grid or charging stations, but on Mars, where there's no existing power infrastructure, keeping Optimus powered up is a huge challenge. When Tesla first introduced Optimus in 2022, it was just a rough prototype with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery using standard 2170 cells, bulky and far from optimized. At that time, Tesla's cutting edge 4680 battery technology wasn't ready yet, but now things have changed dramatically. Tesla has quietly upgraded Optimus with the 4680 battery. 
Although full specifications haven't been officially revealed, what we do know is already impressive. The 4680 battery isn't just an upgrade, it's a game-changing leap in technology. With five times the energy density of the 2170 cells, it allows Optimus to store much more power without increasing its size. Even more importantly, production costs have dropped by 14%, paving the way for a future where millions of Optimus robots can be produced more affordably than ever. The result? A faster, stronger, and more durable Optimus, with its weight reduced by 22%. Optimus has become even more impressive, shedding 22 pounds, bringing its weight down from 160 pounds to 138 pounds. Its runtime now extends to a solid 10 hours, and the upgraded 3 kilowatt hour battery provides enough power for a full workday. No recharge needed. But here's the real game changer. Optimus doesn't need a human to plug it in. It finds its own way to the charger, lines itself up, connects automatically, and once it's fully charged, it unplugs and gets right back to work. And here's a mind-blowing detail. While it usually takes 30 to 40 minutes to fully charge an EV, Optimus, with its sub-3 kilowatt-hour battery, can reach 100% in just 10 minutes or less. Of course, that's on Earth. As for Mars, one possible solution could be solar power, since Mars still gets sunlight, just not as much as Earth. However, there's a problem. Martian dust can cover solar panels, reducing their charging efficiency. Plus, if Optimus is operating at night or in low-light areas, it may need fuel cells or some advanced energy storage tech to keep running. So what do you think? How could Optimus recharge its batteries on Mars? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, the biggest question is whether Starship will be ready in time to actually get Optimus to Mars. After all, no matter how advanced Optimus is, if SpaceX can't even get it off Earth, this whole mission remains in the realm of sci-fi dreams. AI will truly go mainstream when humanoid robots become a regular part of our daily lives. And that's not some distant prediction. It could happen in just a few years, according to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang. Honestly, we're already seeing the signs of this shift. Humanoid robots are no longer just flashy tech demos. They're making their way into real-world applications. In industries, they're working on car assembly lines and warehouse floors. In healthcare, they're helping care for elderly patients. Even at home, the idea of a robot that cleans your house, cooks your meals, or takes care of your pets is no longer as far off as it once seemed. What makes this new generation of robots so special? AI. With reinforcement learning and large language models, these bots don't just follow commands, they learn, adapt, and figure things out on their own.